Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're studying in the book of Philippians today. Chapter 2, verses 29 and 30 will be our reading. Then we'll study it out a little bit, think about it together in the Word. Let's hear it. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem, because for the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service toward me. So he's talking about one of the workers here we meet in the book of Philippians. His name is Epaphroditus. And we learned the last couple of mornings that there came a time when he became very ill and he almost died. It was apparently a very severe illness, but the Lord had mercy on him. And so this sounds like there was a miraculous intervention. God allowed him to get well. He went back now to take this message to the, the church in Philippi that Paul had planted a few years, some years before. So God spared his life, he recovered his health, and now Paul sends him back with a message to this church in Philippi that Paul was one who planted many years before, and so this is going to be good news because they'd heard he was sick. So again, let's notice these verses, 29 and 30. He says, Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem. So a lot of times we don't treat the workers right, you know? We, we have trouble, we're in an age where there's a, a very low amount of respect, a very low amount of trust happening right now. And by the way, I completely understand it. I get it. Hey, my trust level in a lot of things that I, I used to trust in has is, is really decreased these last 24 months. I'm sure yours might have experienced the same thing. But in the people who do the work of God and they are serving him with all their might, those people, we should, we should hold them up. We should pray for them. We should hold them in high regard. We should esteem them well and see what we have here. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness. You don't receive him halfway. Receive him with gladness, all gladness. And there is a word here for you and I, for workers, to hold the good workers in strong esteem. It's kind of an embarrassing thing for me to talk about since I'm an ordained minister, so I'm talking about people in my slot, right? The Bible tells us we should hold God's workers in high esteem. So we need to, those of us who are workers need to live in a way that can be respected, and then we should gather around and be encouraging all the workers. It is a bit hard, some of the work today, very hard to do, as you might imagine, in this, in this current environment. But there's so many opportunities. So let's help the brethren. Paul says at verse 30, well, this fellow, Epaphroditus, he almost died, and he was serving the Lord, and he was actually helping Paul in the place where Paul was imprisoned. So this is a guy that went the second mile. I mean, he was really helping out. Paul knew what he was made out of. And he said, when he arrives, you need to treat him well. I hope they gave him some really delicious food and a good place to sleep and all that when he got to Philippi. Well, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we finished out chapter 2 today and we're heading on into chapter 3. Uh, again, we've seen the active workers, Timothy, Epaphroditus. Paul would have been out there, but he was imprisoned for preaching, for doing his, his work, your work. Lord, one thing we're learning here is that we should rejoice when we meet each other, when we're in each other's presence. When you're in the presence, when we're in the presence of a like-minded believer who's seeking Jesus, that's a glorious and remarkable, special thing, Lord. It's a gift to us in a world where there's so much coldness and aloneness and emptiness. Lord, help us to love the brethren. Help us to love each other. Help us to take care of each other, to watch out for what should be good for each other and to do the right things in your church. Bless your people, Lord. Bring us up higher. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, and use us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's our prayer. Now's our moment of opportunity. So let's, let's, let's be about our Father's work, and he will bless. God be with you.